drunken night led to that animal. I mean, there is some <laughs> weird club. <laughs> the dogs and the raccoons showed up on the same night. <laughs> oh, wow, that was a wild night. <laughs> the dogs woke up and they're like, I've slept with a raccoon. Good <laughs> heavens. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Which brings me to Ed Schultz. <laughs> It, a that dog, seems, a raccoon, mm-hmm. and Ed Schultz all walk into a bar. <laughs> that actually seems like one of your best segues of all time. You've been a broadcaster for 30 years. So uh, listen to Ed Schultz, cut 96. Here's Ed Schultz last uh, yesterday. And tell the truth about what is happening to this country. That it's not about the people. That mm-hmm. obstruction, the country doesn't ob- deserve this kind of obstruction. Mm-hmm. Mr. President, go on the road. Bring it from your loins the way you did to get reelected, the way it was described Wait. by Axelrod. Wait, what? Okay, I don't ever want to hear bring the it phrase, from his bring loins? it from your loins like you did with Axelrod. Because <laughs> <laughs> raccoon dogs so, come out of that. He is so bad. He is so bad. Bring, bring it, it from, from your loins. loins. What? What does that what mean? What is he reading that makes that come out of him? I, so did David Axelrod say that? Bring it from your loins. I've never heard because we would have absolutely mocked that at the time. I, bring I don't it from remember your him, loins. I don't remember him saying "bring it from your loins." We should Google so, so that. Google "bring it from your loins." I'm not Jeffy. You could do that. You're, yeah, you, you do it on yours. Your computer's already contaminated. <laughs> <laughs> That's from bringitfromyourloins.com. <laughs> Oh, you don't want to see that. Uh, the only thing that comes up is Ed Schultz, <laughs> big Eddie to Obama, bring it from your loins. <laughs> no, seriously, he's read that someplace. Jeez. Well, he said it's from David it... Axelrod. Did he? Say, I mean, he must have said that. He play it again, because right. it sounds like a Harlequin romance book. He and might be... tell the truth about what is happening to this country. That it's not about the people. Mm -hmm. That obstruction, the country doesn't deserve this kind of obstruction. Mr. President, go on the road. Bring it from your loins the way you did to get reelected, the way it was described by Axelrod. Just go out there and let them have it for the next hundred days. Let them have it. Look at at that. Let them have it for the next hundred days. This This is the kind of talk that both of us, both sides, both sides have got to stop. The oh. bring it from your loins just because it's embarrassing, but let them have it for the next hundred days. That, that's we got. We got to stop. We got to stop. Where will that lead? What good will that do? That will only divide us more. You know, people have asked me um, over and over and over again uh, from the left. So you know, you said to Megan Kelly now almost a year ago that you regret some of the things that you have uh, done to divide the country. Um, what is it that you specifically would like to atone for? You know what? That's for me. That's for me. I'm, I'm examining myself and saying, what are the things that if I had it to do all over again, what can I learn from this? I did my, the best I could at the time. But what can I learn? Knowing what I know now, knowing where I've been, how can I be a better broadcaster? How can I be a more responsible American? How can I be a better person? That's for me. Can anybody else in the industry ask themselves, what do I have? What have I done? Have I done anything that I, w- that I shouldn't have done, maybe, that I, I could do better now? Is there anything I can do? Have I led, n- not intentionally, have I led to any of the the discourse, the uncivil discourse that we have now? Am I the only one? Because I, I have to tell you, there will never be a, a newspaper written. I could walk out of this building right now. I could walk out right here on the, the what is a studio drive, and get hit by a bus. And it will never be written. America saved. Glenn Beck hit by a bus. It will never be written that way. Discourse uh, restored. Glenn Beck dies. I mean, it will be written that way now because you've just said it. But yes, yes, yeah. it wouldn't have been. Unless so it's, 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 it's ridiculous to think that one man has done this. And it's ridiculous to think on our side. It's ridiculous to think 
that Barack Obama did it. We all have a choice on how we react to things. Now, how are we reacting? If we're reacting, go out there and hit them hard every day. Hammer them every day. What are you doing? That's not going to do anything. As I listened to the president yesterday in Kansas City, I actually felt bad for him. Because the guy won't have a civil conversation with somebody he disagrees with. He won't. He would never sit down with me. He would never sit down with anybody. And I've always said I wouldn't sit down with him. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. I don't think we'd get very far because I'll play my cards face up on the table. It requires you to play your face cards up on the table. Why, why would you meet with me? If you want to meet with me because you want the photo opportunity, uh, you want to be able to say, oh, I met with him, then, that's not, then we're not going to accomplish anything. It's a waste of my time and a waste of your time. The president goes out on the road. Instead of meeting with people and saying, how can we build bridges to each other? He goes out on the road and he says things yesterday like, I, um, you know, you know, the only reason why I'm doing these things, taking a pen and the, and the, and the phone is because uh, they won't, uh, they won't, uh, they're just blocking everything. And, and uh, you know, Republicans, you got to stop with your hate. Stop with hate. Let's do something good. Stop with the hate. Is that how you negotiate with somebody? Is that how you bring the country together? Stop with your hate. We have to lead by example. Lead by example. I'm not going to tell anybody to go out there and bash somebody else for 100 days. That will only lead to more poison. You know what? Let's start um, examining ourselves. Forget about what anybody else does. No.